Hey everyone, welcome back to another Discord.js video. In today's video, we're gonna learn how we can make our Discord.js buttons. Yes, you heard me. Bro, the new Discord update is insanely awesome. Like, I don't know what to say, but the new profile preview and stuff, they're just insanely beautiful in my opinion. And then the way you can put the background as your profile and stuff. I love it, okay? Obviously, by the time I'm recording today's video, this feature is on beta. Uh, the discord buttons this is why we're gonna use the package in today's video but if you check discord.js community discord server you will see them saying in the version 13 of discord.js is gonna be discord buttons which is really really great but right now because it's a still a beta feature and you guys probably want it right now and stuff we gotta use the external packages to basically use this feature if we want to but don't worry once it's officially released you can just go ahead and remove this package and use the main discord.js package you have installed but you gotta check your documentation obviously for that and yeah that's on you anyways enough of me talking i know i talked a little bit too much in today's video in the beginning and i know a lot of you guys hate this but there you go i just gave you the information you needed and now you don't have to kill yourself looking for news and stuff you just basically learn about everything in just one video there you go thank me later you know how else you can thank me is simply by just liking today's video and subscribing to the channel and commenting down below and joining to your discord server simple as that all right now without further ado let's just get into the coding part oh also there's a repository in the description down below you can go ahead and click on it if you want a source code so yeah there you go all right so as you can see i'm in the npm website in the package section so just to make everything clear um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on this side and this on this side so we can actually compare both sides easier. Right now, you might also ask, whoa, that's, what is this? Is this Windows? No, it's not. It's Linux. It's, uh, it's Manjaro Kitty Plasma. So you guys probably need to research that about for yourselves. It's Linux, basically. Anyways, so as you can see, I have a test command to test this kind of stuff. Um, as you can see, it's the package here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and first install this package for you guys. Probably you guys haven't installed it yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my GitHub folder and then in my um, Discord of Disc Buttons folder. Discord of Disc Buttons, my bad. Discord of Disc Buttons, which is my Discord bot or whatever Discord bot you have. You guys probably have VS Code, so just go ahead and open a terminal and then do npm i Discord Buttons. It will install this package for you. So after you install the package, I'm just gonna right now let this to just install it um after it's got installed uh basically your your install discord buttons however you're gonna now put the functions that you need to put for the methods and stuff the first thing you're gonna do is basically go into index.js and then use bot dot this but so the reason i'm doing this is because i'm using command handler um so whenever i use bot dot this bot it's gonna go ahead and refer to the discord buttons and you might see this example here saying constest, but we don't want this to be like this because whenever we want to use this in another file, it's going to get confusing. Um, you could be able to import again and again and again, but by just doing this, we can just do bot.dspot and then it will literally just work without any problems anywhere we use bot.dspot. So if you guys put this, you got to make sure that you use bot in here or client right now, as you can say, use client. If you use const client equal to new discord client, then go ahead and place this with client. Simple as that. So, simple as that. Now we need to go to the command that we have. I use the command handler. You can use whatever you want, but the code I'm going to talk about is going to be inside of here. So, right now, as you can see, I make I create a new button. Uh, I'm going to do let button equal to new bot that this bot as i said referring to here uh but it's but message button so the message is going to be a button and then this tell the color of the button is going to be red and the label of this button is going to be a mogas i mean obviously i'm just like doing some fun stuff here you can rename it to whatever you want like um I don't know video i don't know like uh, fun anything you want but just for memes and stuff i'm gonna put among us so sus and whatever and then the id is really important on this one because whenever we, we click on this button the id is really important okay like we need this for an event i'm gonna talk about it later right now so as you can see and then i said let msg equal to a way to message a channel that send click for among us this is gonna be the text and then it's gonna go ahead and attach the button to the text let me just maximize this for you guys so you can see it clearly. And uh, you can also see the basically the source code in the description down below as well if you want to. But yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and let me just do this real quick. Hold on. There we go. So after we've done this, we're totally fine. But we might notice some issues. So if I run the bot right now, if I do no dot, it's going to run without any problems, obviously. 
but when I when I use this command, when I test or I try to use this command, you might notice it's not gonna work. I mean, it's work actually, but let me just try it again. If I do test. Oh, I forgot to set my index.js. Hold on a minute. Um, I'm gonna run the bot again. Oh yeah, yeah. it wasn't supposed to show this yet because um, we haven't created the event yet. But if I click on this right now, it won't work. And you might notice you'd be like, why it's not working? As you can see, interaction failed. Well, the reason being is because just simply this haven't this, this doesn't have an event. Like we didn't tell we didn't tell it what it should do when we click on it, right? So we need an event for that. So we're gonna go ahead and. Obviously, I have an event handler and stuff, but I'm not going to use it in today's video because it might be a little bit confusing. Just go to your index.js and then you're going to have an event click button. So the event that we use, we're going to use for this button is going to be click button. We definitely need to use the click button exactly like this. This is an event the package is having. And then in here, we're going to say the button ID. So as remember, I said that you need the set ID. It's pretty important here what you put. So copy this here that you put and then paste it in here. It's gonna be the if the button that ID is equal to among us, like um, among us, whatever the hell, oh my god, I can't spell today. Um, then it's gonna go ahead and button that defers. That means it's gonna refresh the button, so it will basically not show any, you know, basically loading, um, you know, loading picture, whatever. And then it's gonna go ahead and send a message where we click on the button and the among us, among us emoji or whatever. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna do no dot again. I'm gonna, okay, I think I saved it, right? Yes, I did. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do test. And if I click on this right here, it's gonna show the Among Us button any, anywhere. Like, it's pretty cool, right? So, Discord buttons, straightforward. We can also change the colors. However, in my Discord server, we found that there is limited colors for this. So, if I scroll up right here, one of my friends show how many colors we can use in total. Um, there is only, I think, three or four colors. Um, there we go. So we have red, gray, green, and blue, purple. And the URL, I don't think it's possible this yet. Uh, but these are the only colors you can use for the buttons. Just, just four colors, which is kind of sad. Uh, but yeah, so the other stuff like embeds and embeds and like buttons for the embeds or whatever, you can obviously do that. You can put multiple buttons as well. All of the examples are available in here as you wish and this is pretty much it you can create this group button simply by just using this package obviously you can keep this package forever this is gonna work forever obviously but when it's officially releasing discord.js i think you can uninstall this but it doesn't mean it's not gonna work so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching today's video pretty much small video and i think you guys enjoyed it i'm not sure if you enjoyed it go ahead and click on like the button click on the like button comment down below if you have any problems or you have you know your button doesn't work or anything just go and comment down below join to our discord server we have a lot, be able to put a lot faster over there and um yeah this is pretty much it thank you guys for watching today's video subscribe to the channel and this is dashcraft and i'm out